country that they wanted to come back with a team. And they brought a second team and they were and we had to do we were going up to do this the, the second story on the church. And we needed an electrician to, to put the, all the lines before we poured concrete in. And we were praying again, God we need an electrician. And while we were while we were praying, I had a meeting to go to sometime after and we were giving out invitations to a, a celebration we were having that every phase of the church we reach we do a celebration and we were we were giving these invitations out to this pastor all the pastors in the prayer breakfast and while i was leaving a pastor ran out and, and met me at the doorway and he said pastor i noticed you, you all are building a building and i said yes he said well i don't know if you need an electrician I said, yes, we need an electrician. He said, well, I don't know if you need an electrician, but I am a licensed electrician, and I will do your building for you absolutely free of charge. And this was the first time I'm meeting this person. This is the first conversation we're having, and God sent him in the time when we really need it. And we have become dear friends. He has been working in, in, in honoring his commitment. Um, after that team left and, you know, Mr. Wayne Elliott and his wife Pamela Elliott, they were so touched with what God was doing in Trinidad that they wanted to, their church to be involved in this project. And the next year they brought their church, Sand Hill Community Church, led by Pastor um, Jeff Philbot and Pastor Jeff Teeters, who came to see what these two members were so excited about in Trinidad and what you know all the things what God was doing and when they came the Sand Hill Community Church brought finance again and God provided through them and they bought the blocks for the for that first second story started laying blocks on that second story and we built up a very dear relationship with our church and the um, the following year they came, um, after they laid, we laid blocks on that first floor, we needed, time came for us to put the roof on. And we needed, you know, I invited a church to come over and take the, over this our service. And at the end of the service, um, the pastor who of that church asked me, who's a dear friend of mine, said, so what's, what's the next step to the building? And I turned to him and said, well, you know, we have to put the roof on now. He said, you know, I know somebody who does a good roof work and, you know, why don't you pick me up, you know, during the week and we would go and pay my visit. Well, lo and behold, we had planned for a Friday and we went to, to where this guy was living, just about an hour away. And as we reached, as we reached, he stepped out of the van, the guy was right in front and he spoke to him. And by the time I walk out to meet this guy, to be introduced to this guy, this guy, it, you know, when he was introduced to me, he said, yes, and I will do the building for you for absolutely free. I will do the entire roof for you for free. And we were so shocked because we had gotten estimates before, and it was like Christians who, you know, who we had known would give us an estimate for labor alone for $20,000. And, you know, and this guy was willing to do this thing who we didn't, who never even met before for absolutely free. And he came and he did the roof, you know, free of charge. And right now we are in the process of plastering the inside of the church. And, you know, we, there's a lot of work to do. We have to pour mortar, put mortar on the outside. Um, there's a lot of detailing to do right now. We have to block off the first floor of the building. You know, but we want to trust God and we thank God for where He has brought us so far. It has been a walk of faith, a walk of truly trusting God and seeing the hand of God in operation. God has truly been good to us. And we're happy to have, you know, Brother Ziegler with us here, who God has sent to, um, like Esther in a time like this. And He has been a true blessing to us so far. And you know, and we thank him for really being such a blessing for, to us and to this ministry and for what you're doing. May God richly bless you this evening. Uh, the debt that you incurred when you first made this move and left your job, 
were you able to come out from under that debt the more you tried you kept going further in debt you referred to that earlier are you free from that debt now yes i am free from that debt what happened is that we were grasping at straws basically mm -hmm. and um the more we grasped the more debt we accumulated and you know we had we had debt collectors coming in and we had no way of paying this until finally, like, you know, like Jonah, I said, God, I surrender to you. I realize you called me full time and I have been like Jonah, rebellious, running and grasping. But Lord, I, I reached a point where my back was up against the wall and I said, God, I surrender. I'm sorry. And God just turned, turned the whole, turned everything around and we were able to finally pay out all of the debts that we were into these companies. We have uh, expressed to not only myself but to members at Sand Hills that you both felt that the Lord had spoken to your heart that this year was going to be a year of jubilee and by that you felt that he was indicating to you that you were going to be able to dedicate your the building itself uh, when the Sand Hills team 